Today we are learning about Jacques Louis David. He is from France. Jacques Louis David. His father died when he was only nine years old. He died in a duel. Jacques Louis David then was sent to live with two of his rich uncles who were said to be unkind. He was a strong supporter of the French Revolution and a friend of Maximilien Robespierre. He was imprisoned after Robespierre fell from power. But then he was appointed as the painter for Napoleon. At this time in history, in 1789, the French Revolution began, and in 1804, Napoleon was crowned Emperor of Europe. Jacques Louis David is known as the leader of the neoclassical movement. And the neoclassical movement is when there's a resurgence of classical art that is from the Greek and Roman era becomes prevalent again. The piece of art that we're going to study is called The Death of Socrates. Here it is. It was painted in 1787, and it's painted in the neoclassical style. This is the moment, the painting shows the moment before Socrates drinks a poisonous drink. The technique used in this painting is called contrast. Contrast is when we, use paint, we paint light colors that are surrounded by a dark color to make the object stand out. So you can see here the light surrounded by all the darkness, by the dark colors, to make the light parts stand out. The next piece of art that we are gonna study is called Napoleon Crossing the Alps. It was painted in 1800 to 1801, which is shortly after Napoleon took power over France, and he set the troops to cross over the Alps to defeat the Austrians. Napoleon requested for a painting to show him on a calm and fiery horse. And so one of David's sons had to dress up and sit on a ladder to be a model for him to be able to paint Napoleon on a horse. And the rocks in the lower left hand corner, as you can see, say Bonaparte, Hannibal, and Carlos Magnus, which is Charlemagne, which are all historical leaders that sent troops over the Alps. This is an equestrian portrait. And an equestrian portrait was very popular among the rich, the royal, and those people in authority position. An equestrian portrait is when the main subject is painted on horseback. The third piece of art that we are going to study is called the Oath of Heratai. The Heratai brothers are saluting their father before heading to battle. This painting was a symbol of courage and loyalty. This painting is based on the Roman legend where two sets of brothers, the Heratai and Karatai, battled to defend their homelands. David uses three arches, one, two, three, to have emphasis in the three main subjects of the painting, the brothers, the father, and the women. You can see them down here. Arches are the curved structures in an opening and supports the weight of a bridge roof or wall above it. So you can see them right here, the three arches, one, two, and three. The final piece of art that we are gonna study is called The Coronation of Napoleon. This was painted in 1807 when David was Napoleon's official painter. It is 33 feet wide and over 20 feet tall. This is when Napoleon was crowned the Emperor of France at the Cathedral of Notre Dame in 1804. Napoleon is holding the crown. Historical records state that he crowned himself. It means he put the crown on his own head. We're learning how today we are going to draw our own horses and then you can draw yourself or maybe even cut out a picture of yourself to put on a back for your own equestrian portrait. So we first going to start off by, put, by folding our, our paper into quarters. So fold it in half and then fold it in half again. preface that I am not a good artist. So you are going to see this. Um, so first we're going to start by drawing the back. So we're going to come along like this. Ooh, my horsey. Oh yeah. He's looking like he's got some sort of spine problem. Next, you're gonna draw the head. It's gonna come down like so. 
And then we are gonna make the chest line. It's gonna come down and then cross into this fourth little quadrant like so. Then we're gonna draw the front leg with a hoof. So it's gonna kinda of go down like so. I'm thinking a lot. There's his hoof. Draw the back leg with a hoof. Give a little knot for the leg. Draw the belly. Oh, mine is not definitely proportionate. Um, we're running belly and then the remaining back legs. Oh, yeah. I definitely think that your pictures are a lot better than mine. When it came to the art jeans, mine were left out. Mine were left lacking. But there you go. Draw a tail, an ear, a mane, eye, and nose. So first one off the tail. Ready? Let's give him a poof. Like this, oh yeah. That horse looks like a muscle horse. A muscle horse, he, yeah, he's a he's a muscly horse. So I'm gonna draw him with some ears. Another ear, well maybe the ears should be more pointy like this. Let's go with the mane. So he's gonna have a little bit in the front, little bangs in the front. He's gonna come around to the back. So like so. Oh yeah, there you go. His eyes, a little almond-shaped eyes, colored in. He's got a little bit of a nose, and he's a happy horse. Finish it up with making the background. Here he is, this is where he's galloping. Here's the background. And let's draw some happy little bushes. Oh yeah, it's a really nice day. I'm gonna draw the sun, because it's a beautiful day. Some clouds. And then you can color this in and make it your own, and then you can draw a picture of yourself. Here is me. Oh, I look very small. I think my head a little bigger. <laughs> Maybe here's the back of my hair, because I'm probably screaming for help. Going, help, help. And there's my legs. Oh yeah, help. Because let's face it, if I was really on a horse, I would probably be in danger. You'd probably fall off. I would. Actually, I've been horseback riding before. I did not fall off, but I was kind of scared because the horses are huge. All right, the kids are going to try their own. I am going to put a link to um, a Pinterest board of where I found the really great instructions on how to draw horses, although I'm not a great artist. I'm pretty sure yours are going to be so much better than mine, and I would love to see your pictures, so make sure you include those. Uh, but I'm on our Facebook page. I'm definitely going to send that link just so you have um, close-up details of how to write it. Um, how to draw your picture. So we'll let the kids try their own hand at it and we'll send you their pictures too. Sarah has a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for you to hear our newest episodes. So stay tuned. See you guys later. Bye!